Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Horror Quickies. I am your host, JW, and this episode, Willie's Wonderland, starring Nicolas Cage. I have to be honest with you, um, really wasn't a fan of Mandy, but I liked the trailer for this, and obviously the comparison to Five, Five Nights at Freddy's, you know, I was interested, and I'm going to be honest with you, pleasantly surprised. I have heard a lot of my, uh, a lot of friends of mine on Facebook and uh, here in hometown really didn't care for this film. Um, the movie is about a quiet loner played by Nicolas Cage who finds himself stranded in a remote town when his car breaks down. Uh, the mechanic doesn't take credit cards, only cash. Now, the owner of Willie's Wonderland, a shut-down family amusement center, uh, offers him a deal. If you stay overnight, clean it up, and in the morning, your car will be repaired, and I will have paid it, paid for it. So, Nicholas Cage's shake, character shakes his hand, and they make a deal. Now, the interesting thing about this film is, and you might have heard this already, but it's true, Nicholas Cage, his character never actually has a name. He's referred to as the janitor for the entire film. Also, he doesn't say a, he 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 doesn't speak. He does yell and you know make some verbal noises, especially during the fight scenes. But he doesn't actually speak. And I knew that going into this film, and I was thinking, okay, how is this going to work? It worked perfectly. It was really good. His character, the janitors, was pretty damn badass. Anyways, as you imagine, he sets about cleaning Willie's Wonderland. Meanwhile, a bunch of teens, led by the sheriff's adopted daughter, decides they want to try to stop this uh, monthly sacrifice thing, which is really what it is all about. The town's folks uh, want to satisfy Willie and his animatronic minions by uh, getting them sacrifices. Uh, the film's good. Um, one, one critique that I've heard is that the animatronic suits look kind of goofy and look cheap. Well, first of all, and this is actually a, this is actually a, this is actually a pretty mainstream uh, reviewer that's saying this, and I'm not disagreeing with them, but I just don't think he sees it the way I do. You see, Willy's Wonderland is not Chuck E. Cheese. It's not, it's not the, a big Disney-themed park. Willy's Wonderland is in a small town, and it's, uh, it's going to be pretty much, it's pretty much going to be one of those things where you have to, I guess the easiest way for me to say this is quite simply, it's a small place. Willie's on uh, Willie's Wonderland is not Disney World or anything like that. Also, I believe it's twenty years since the original thing that happened. I'm not gonna try to spoil too much, but essentially these things are worn out. And if you watch the making of features, this uh, disc is by the way, uh, Willie's Wonderland is distributed by Screen Media. Uh, if you go up to the bonus, there is a Inside the Fun and Making Willie's Wonderland. They talk a lot about it, and they also show you how they degrade the suits to make these animatronics that are possessed by demons. Uh, they degraded them on purpose because they're supposed to look old and worn. And like I said, it, it, so I don't understand what that critique critic was saying, but that's his opinion. I'm just merely giving you guys mine. I'm not trying to bash that guy. Okay, on set tour. Uh, colorful darkness and the demon of Trons. I guess that's what they're, they're, they're calling Willie and his buddies. Production design of Willie's Wonderland. Fresh meat, the cast, the theatrical trailer. Teaser character artwork gallery. Character posters graphics gallery. Production design gallery. Willie's Wonderland is one of those movies that doesn't take itself seriously. Uh, it is a horror film, it is an action film, and it also has a lot of funny comedic moments, which, as I always stated, not to beat a dead horse, comedy and horror, and horror require balance to get them to work together, and they did a good job. So, 
I got this at my friendly neighborhood Walmart, I believe for $14.95 or $99. And yes, it is worth my time. It's worth it for the scene where Nicolas Cage fights the gorilla with a plunger in the bathroom. It, it's fun. It's a movie that's meant to be fun. Um, it is slightly cheesy, and I, I really like the soundtrack. And uh, Nick, Nicolas Cage's character is, of course, very eccentric. This is one of those movies, if you want to be entertained for an hour and, let's see, 89 minutes. If you want to be entertained for an hour and 29 minutes, this is your movie. It's it's fun. It's 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 fast. It's sleek. It's entertaining. I mean, to be honest with you, I don't understand the negative reviews. But then again, this is just my opinion. I'll see you guys next time on Old Cookies with JW.